Jdog4636 here. With Dalian123. And we're bringing to you this video to describe and kind of brainstorm ideas and think about what Call of Duty Ghost did do right. So first, I think we should start out with, um, I've had several Call of Duties, so certain things I don't think, you know, they did right just because. Now, Jesse, this is his, or J-Dog4636 is, uh, this is his first, um, Call of Duty, so, um, he'll mostly be talking about ghosts. So. Yeah, and it's the first one I've technically owned myself. Um, now I have played, you know, older Call of Duties at Daylane 1 through 3 and Corey's house, a friend that you guys know we play with a lot. Uh... We're bringing you this video on Warhawk, uh, Call of Duty Ghost. I'm using the Bison with Muzzle Break and I believe Extended Mag. Um, I hope you guys like the gameplay. Alright, so first idea of Daily123. What did they do right, or in your opinion, or if they did anything right? Um, I think they did do a few things right. Um, like the nath or the nathing. The knifing um, animation. animation is a lot better than the other Call of Duties where you just kind of, you know, Melee, it was kind of cheesy and lame because he did that to everyone. Um, this one, you can just stab them, which I kind of like. Um, I also think uh, another thing they did right is um, with the maps, uh, those like ghost icons, uh, those things can be destroyed or whatever. I kind of like that. I wish Call of Duty Ghost had more of that. Oh, so like an innovative map, kind of? Yeah, kind of like how Battlefield has theirs. You oh, know? yeah, so like you shoot a wall. Yeah, I, I, I like that, dude. Yeah, that's the good thing about Battlefield. Um, we'll talk about that later on with Battlefield gameplay, but yeah. So, J-Dog4636, in your opinion, what do you think Call uh, of Duty Ghost did? Personally, I like Ghost. I think it's a good game. Um, I do, you know, from experience to playing with you guys on Black Ops 2 and just uh, Black Ops 1, I do agree that there's a lot, you know, there's quite a few things Ghost didn't have or maybe didn't please the customers as much. Um, however, I do think the hitboxes are a lot better because I know, like you said, you know, the melee, I mean, I swear, when I play with you, you knife me from like five feet away, you know, kind of the Call of Duty lunge. So, uh, I definitely agree with the melee. Uh, I also, I, I, the maps are okay. Uh, I think if they would have dumbed them down in size a little bit, it might have been a lot better because there's more action, you know, gun-to-gun -gun combat where, I mean, it seems to me like it's hard, you know, most of the time I don't see people running around or stuff. I kind of see them, like, you know, out of the blue. And I think that's due to the bigger maps and not, as, not enough, you know, constant in-your-face gameplay. Uh, I, I'm not a big MLG watcher, but I, I, I don't know, I don't think the MLG players liked it near as, I mean, I think they're still a humongous fan of Black Ops 2, because from other YouTubers' uh, videos, I, it seems to me that MLG players thought everything Call of Duty Ghost uh, done was bad, so in that opinion, I guess, it might, maybe not on the top of the scale. Uh, but overall, I really enjoy Ghost, and like Daily 123 described, uh, this is my first, uh, oh, Call of Duty that I have actually owned, so it's kind of, I guess, special in my, he's got a special place in my heart, but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, is there anything you'd like to add? Um, yeah, I would like to say that, um, Call of Duty Ghost, they did do quite a few things right, um, but some of the things they did wrong was the maps, a lot of the maps are just too boring and too big because as JDog4636 was saying, it's kind of hard to like run into someone and it just gets boring, you know? And that, that, that's a thing that a lot of games have when they have big maps is you don't run into someone so it gets boring. Uh, I think Ghosts should have downsized the maps a little bit. I also think Call of Duty in general, this is for the next game, uh, Advanced Warfare, I hope that uh, all of the maps, you have a random weather generator and it changes from day and night and all that stuff, and the maps change, 
uh, each game just so that it keeps you interested in playing multiplayer because sometimes you might play the same map twice and it's just, it just gets boring. You know, it's just kind of like, um, really, you know? And another thing, um, one of the things, I want to compare this to Black Ops 2 here. Black Ops 2 was the game before Ghost, right? Um, it was, everyone loved it, um, but it also had its flaws with hitboxes and quick scoping. Uh, you can do it real easier in Black Ops 2 than you can Yeah, because the Ghost. auto assist. Yeah. So, you know, you do have those things to point out, but other than that, Black Ops 2 was a pretty good game as far as the maps and the colors look. Like, everything was more smooth. Like, in Ghost, it just seems like Modern Warfare 3, except redone a little bit. So, that's my opinion. You know, everyone's entitled to theirs, but honestly, that's what I think, so... Um, yeah, I'd just like to add one more thing before we cut this video off. Uh, he brought up a good point about um, the auto assist on snipers. And I do, we do know, in fact, that uh, Call of Duty Ghost, as you guys know, they didn't have auto assist, so a lot of quick scopers didn't really enjoy that. And it's actually coming back in Advanced Warfare. So, quick scopers, sorry, but you're going to have to wait another year to see what Treyarch does. So... And uh, we're going to cut this video off here, but make sure you look on our channel for a future video about Advanced Warfare, uh, our expectations, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day.